so cracked to a pine tree. <laughs> a barbecue in a swimming pool. <laughs> I walk around with my shoes tied. Shoes tied. I go to sleep in a shower cap. <sighs> I ate Chex Mix for cereal. <laughs> it's always just saying stuff that really grabs your ear. Those are all real lines from his songs. <laughs> Eating Skittles at a sushi restaurant. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sold some Sherm to a fiend, look like Phoebe Bridgers. Oh. <sighs> Just kill Edward on this one. Oh, I thought this was like a command. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. This is an artist. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Because I've gotten. I, never mind. I, I, I know. This looks a lot like your emails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one from God? <laughs> okay, God, you, you say so. You used to do a Pikachu impression that sound like Barack Obama. What? I did? Yeah, well, you thought, you still I think still do. I still yeah. do a Pikachu impression. Right, you still think it sounds like Pikachu. Let him hear it, I guess. Here he okay, goes. Here he yeah. goes doing a Pikachu impression. Uh, I'm Pikachu. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, little yellow mouse. <laughs> uh, very cute. Sasha, Malia, uh -huh. Michelle. See, now, uh, now you're naming Barack Obama's family. Uh, How's that Pikachu? Uh, Ash is my trainer. Uh, right, uh, that's Pikachu. Uh, Sasha? Malia? No! Oh, <laughs> Pika Pika? Yes. <laughs> my wife Michelle? Uh, Pikachu can't get married. <laughs> Lightning Bolt Tail? Uh, we're all over the place, Riley. Uh, okay. Cute Pokemon? Get <laughs> something's <laughs> off! You ain't nothing but a dog player. I kid. She's a banger. <laughs> She's a banger. No, she's a walking banger. <laughs> Some people are walking licks. They're easy to rob. Yeah. And they have stupid money on them. Yeah. Doja's a walking banger. She's also beefing with a 17-year-old from Stranger Things right now. Well, he should fucking watch his back. Because <laughs> yeah. if I catch him slipping, I'll beat his ass for her. That's Seems, seems inappropriate, but sure. I will whoop his dumb ass okay. for Doja. Doja, all you gotta do is say the word. Okay, Noah yeah. Shep, what's his name? Noah Schnapp. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't even gotta say the word. Your name's so stupid, I'll beat your ass myself. <laughs> snap, snap! <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna go that far. I might shoot Adam. Who's Adam? <laughs> Holy smokes. Dare I say we got another New Yorker on our hands? Every time I hear music like that, I understand old people a little more. Yeah. Like, I get it. When yep. I hear music like that, I'm like, damn, I need to listen to more shit like this. Yeah. You know? Or, like, I'm always, like, reminded that, oh, they, they did have fun. They yeah. did party down. Like, you hear it and you're like, it was just classier. But they were getting down to that. Yeah, they're like, just snorted another line off her ass. <laughs> she came over to my house, had to hide my cum rags. Let them have it, boys. <laughs> Winning if it been. This is the best show on the internet. Come on. <laughs> she got a BBL. <laughs> I got a BB belt. <laughs> Sweet. So three to two. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet, sweet semen. <laughs> Can't say sweet without saying semen. When I say sweet, you, you say, say semen. semen. Sweet. 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 <laughs> Come on, Jack Harlow fans. <laughs> a lucky winner of tonight's raffle will get to taste a little of Jack Harlow's <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet semen. Caller number 44. <laughs> oh my God, for real? <laughs> it's just a little bit. <laughs> Don't get greedy. <laughs> you know you can use floss for other stuff too? <laughs> Was that a wink? You know, you can use floss for a bunch of other stuff, too. I did not. I don't use it for anything, so. You don't floss? Mm -mm. That's why your breasts smell like cat shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's because I eat cat shit. Oh. <laughs> ah. Duh. I have IBS. People need to stop with, like, the criticizing of my diet. So what? I eat cat shit. <laughs> so what? <laughs> that's what I have to do. You eat burgers and all <laughs> McDonald's and the fries and stuff. You eat pizza. And you eat all your favorite foods. Meatloaf. Uh -huh. Like, that sort of stuff. And I have to eat cat shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that about I can't eat anything else. I have IBS. It stands for irritable bowel syndrome, but also for I be shitting. And you eat catch it. Yeah, and I have to. Because the doctor said so? No, my friend who's an herbalist, he told, he put me onto it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tastes so bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> you know, but I have to do it, uh -huh. and I feel great. Uh -huh. You yeah. look great. Whatever you're doing is working. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a little weird. 
It's turning you into a cat? <laughs> you are what you eat, <laughs> you know? You're eating so much cat shit, you might be turning into a cat. That's what people say to me out at the restaurants. <laughs> what the, yeah, the cat shit restaurants. <laughs> You go to Petco. What's on the special today? Uh, I'll have the lemon pepper cat shit today. Yeah. I eat at Petco. <laughs> that's right, dude. You have IBS. I know. And that's what I tell them at Petco. I go, I have IBS. I have to eat some of the cat shit. <laughs> do you have barbecue cat shit? You don't drink the piss, do you? I gotta wash it down. I'm not just, what? Cat shit, no Bev? No thanks. <laughs> Last place I saw my kids. <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> Anyone seen him? I went that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all like clear as day in hindsight. Hindsight is 2020. Oh wait, I guess hindsight's 2021 now. I gotta yeah. get used to writing that on my papers. Yeah. Well, no, hindsight is 2020. Last year hindsight was 2019. <laughs> I thought hindsight was that movie with Sandra Bullock. Oh, I love her. You know, it's a true story. Yeah, Sandra Bullock played in the NFL for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know that. She had a cannon of an arm. And as a running back, too. I mean, she was a big fan of the flea flicker. I mean, a lot of people don't, people don't notice this, too, but, like, running back, I mean, average two to three years in the league. You really get beat up. And Sandra Bullock was in there for 12 years. She goddamn near Frank Gore level. I mean, 12 years in the MLB is nothing. Sandy Koufax isn't considered one of the greats because he only did 12 years for the Dodgers. But... When you're in the NFL, I mean, you're getting beaten, broken. You're like a rag doll out there, just getting absolutely torn up. And Sandra Bullock really stood her ground. And was a downhill runner. I know. Like, did, wasn't a speedster, didn't hit the outside, never ran out of bounds, always finished the run, always fell forward. Took always, hits, yeah. Yeah, led with her helmet. Like a Ladanian Tomlinson type character. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> like a Ladanian Tomlinson, Adrian Peterson hybrid. You know, yeah. hybrid. Yeah. Hey, you remember what Bill Belichick said about her? No. That bitch could run. <laughs> What's that sound? Is there a clicking sound? Yeah. Nope, it's alright. No, no, no. No one's in there, buddy. Come on. Don't even. Nope. <laughs> Stay right here. <laughs> no, nope. Riley, get back. Get back over here. One second, one second. No, nope. get back over they're here. They're fucking listening. No, <laughs> they're not. Stop. Stop. Ow! Hey, you're hurting me. Our life depends on You're seriously. hurting hey, me. Hey, hey. Stop. Stop. Seriously. Keep your fucking <laughs> You're hurting me. Ow! Get your fucking <laughs> seriously, dude. No one's fucking listening, man. It was just a squirrel. Oh, okay. We're good. Jesus Christ. Jesus. What? What? <laughs> I, okay, so I'm not allowed to drink before the video anymore. <laughs> no, Jesus Grant, let's Christ. get into the next one. You know, it's interesting when you think about Kim, bruh. She got yay, but now he's just somebody that she used to know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Riley Savage from Hive Mind. Oh, please stop it. You guys are too, come on. Get off your phone, Riley. Really. I'm filming. looking for a fucking song name. Okay. <laughs> Can I look for a fucking song name? <laughs> I was just looking up for a song name. Is he gonna cry? Or is I go on Spotify, I look up a song name for me to write down. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing filming <laughs> I'm me? Not, I'm looking up a song name too. That looks like you're filming me. <laughs> no, zoom in on it. <laughs> I'm literally not, this I'm isn't funny. Cry. I'm gonna put the crying filter on it. Dude, put a cash in the end. It's like the Wait. Like crying and like, yo. What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, all no, I was doing was looking up a song name on Spotify so that I could write it down. I don't remember the name of the songs all the time. Dude, look, I'm streaming it. Look yo. Look at yo, someone said he's going through puberty in reverse. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this live? No. Guys. I'm not, I'm just looking up a song name. Someone said lost all respect for Riley. <laughs> guys, I really don't I understand you. what's going on. I'm gonna that comment. <laughs> All right, um, so I was just looking up a song, but then we can that's cool. just keep it moving. Kids are gonna grow up and be like, yeah, my daddy was a door dasher. <laughs> that's crazy to me. Yeah, you know, my parents, they worked really hard. My daddy would door dash when he had time. My mom had a D-pop. <laughs> It was big year when my daddy won that Fortnite tournament. That was super special for us. We got to buy an above ground pool. <laughs> Good honest work. Uh, we're just kind of regular folk. My daddy made his living selling usernames on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> and my mama, she was a bang energy girl. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the CEO. Every summer when we'd visit my grandparents, we'd put our house up on Airbnb. <laughs> you know why they call me former vice president Dick Cheney? They don't call you that. Because I'm a dick. I'm not nice, especially to the people I go out with. That being said, give me a chance. I think you're attractive. How's that for a pickup line? I didn't even feel like a pickup line. It seemed brutally honest, which I guess is good, but then <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. Get ready, sugar plum fairy. Like the economy, I'm about to go down on myself in front of you to show off my flexibility, not only physically, but my time, my schedule. Due to my work, I'm, I'm pretty flexible and like 
I can kind of work my way into your schedule. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard a pickup line like that before. Do I look like ravioli to you? Because I'm full of stuff that you can have. <laughs> Here we go. The goddamn son of a bitch that killed Steve Irwin. <laughs> the good for nothing, bottom dwelling, ocean cretin that is the motherfucking stingray. God, I despise these little vermin. I wish they'd all be gone. But this one's so cute. He's got a little binky. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Stingrays are the ops. Don't forget that. <laughs> they, they took one of the greatest men of our generation. Man, I really wanted to run a perfect game. I know you did, dude. It I could so see it. fun. Well, maybe next time you'll take the performance enhancers I offer you before the game. Well, those have crazy side effects. So what? They literally make you feel drunk for like three weeks. So what? I mean, I can't even function on those things. They're dissociatives, dude. My name's Dignan. From now on, you're gonna call me Dignan. I'm gonna call you Dignan? That's my name now. Dude, the performance enhancers, you gotta stop with them. They seriously change you, man. So what? Now my name's Dignan. Dude, you got zero points. You got <laughs> one point in one of the games recently. Like, the, the performance enhancers aren't even working, and now your name's Dignan? Just because my name used to be Graydon doesn't mean I don't have the right to change it right now to Dignan. Dignan, you gotta stop taking those performance enhancers. I mean... <laughs> oh, I just popped a few more. When? I've been looking, looking at you this whole time. You didn't do that. <laughs> I'm popping a few more How right now. <laughs> How are you getting them? Are they teleporting into your brain? Oh, there oh, goes another one. <laughs> Dude, oh. I am suspicious about these at all. I don't think they're working or they're real. Dignan has four. I have four. You want to hear my Steve-O impression I've been working on? Hey, guys. <laughs> when Knoxville wanted to shoot me in the head with a 50 caliber rifle, I knew we had to take it up another notch. And after Bam killed his whole family for Jackass 14, I knew we'd have to go wild. So this time, I attached dynamite to my ball sack. <laughs> I mean, that shit blew my little boys to smithereens. I mean, for Jackass 2, I was on crack cocaine. I was listening to Metallica in my trailer nonstop on a 24-hour loop. And so when Spike Jones suggested that I raw-dogged his wife, I just had to. Come on, man. I was filling condoms with poop. It's not bad, right? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Are people actually into getting their mouth spit in? Yeah, I'm into that. Really? Yeah. Like a yes. <laughs> is it? You're not just in the bit. No, not a bit. Are Love you it. into that? I put my hands up. Or one hand. Really? Are you not? Not, not yeah, just absolutely anybody. Absolutely not. I mean, no, yeah, that's to be the right of person. Of course. Of course. I understand that, that it's something you do with your partner and it's right. like an intimate thing. But to me, yeah, that like is if like, I was at a NASCAR Allo show or whatever and yeah. he was like, no. did it, I would just like do it. I'd just be there. Like, <laughs> And that is just a foreign, repulsive concept to me. And I don't mean to kink shame. I'm not trying to do that. Yeah, I right. just don't. I don't understand it one bit. You couldn't shame me out of it. I love it. Three women in their lives have spit in my mouth. <laughs> Upon request. Uh, it has to be. That doesn't come up naturally. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't like I was like, hey, spit in my mouth. It was like <laughs> was in, it the heat of the moment. Heat of the moment. <laughs> she spit in my yeah. mouth. Wow. Did you swallow it all like dramatic? Like you look in her eyes and like, Swallow. Yes, absolutely. And then she's oh like, "Oh my god, oh, that is, do you like spit in your mouth? Really? <laughs> I'm the only one in this room. You're the only one in this room who doesn't like oh, this shit. Man. <laughs> DJ Khaled doesn't follow the rules of music making. I don't think we have to follow the rules of this game when guessing his album. He's like, "Listen, I invited four people over, and they made a song, and now it's my song. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the best." <laughs> there are moments though that I'm just inspired by DJ Khaled for like that quick, like flash in a pan second. Oh, I'm yeah. just like, I kind of get it. Like. It's just, you need a guy like that. He's just doing it. And there's nothing beneath that. You yeah. know what I mean? He's just on the surface doing it. And then that's it. He doesn't know how to play the guitar. I'm not even sure he knows how to father that child. <laughs> I'll go that far. I'll go that far. He's the type of guy to take all this. I'm the father of Assad. And really, it's like the nanny that's taking care of it. And like the whole time he's watching TV. They're like, Dad, I'm hungry. He's like, I don't know how to make breakfast. <laughs> Grandma's hands 
Used to work on Sunday morning. God, Bill Withers? Yeah. Fuck, that's always fucking fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I could only touch my grandma's hands one more time, I really mean that. I miss her. She had a nice touch. What is funny? She had paper skin because she was old and you could rip it open and see all of her tendons. That's fucked up. I miss her, man. My gammy. Such a sweet, sweet prince. Sus. Quit laughing about it. I miss my grandma. My gammy. She's just such a unique mix of sincerity and like <laughs> vulgarity. Right. It's just like it's like you like don't know how. Like I, I'm having trouble expressing It's coming myself. from like a very sweet place. Yes, and it's just it like is. you don't her. know how. Now I'm sad. This is the right way to wear glasses, by yes. the way. You know, <laughs> absolutely. Like you know how sometimes if you're like checking somebody out or you're like trying to see something that you can't believe, you take your sunglasses and you're like, huh? Just go a little, like a notch, like one rung lower. You just go, huh? Those perfect pairs where you like knock them off with like a head nod, you know? Oh yeah, I know. Catch it mean. on your chin. Or if you're if uh, if your your daddy's fancy boat is 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 going, <laughs> it's going too fast. <laughs> it's a bumpy ride on daddy's fancy boat. <laughs> the DFB. I thought we'd never bring this up again. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> My dad doesn't have a boat. I promise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All I'm right. I'm not going to be able to get that on my... Go ahead. What's the next joke? What's the next picture from Josie? <laughs> Whoa, you got a cat. This is an interesting angle, too. What are you laughing now? <laughs> First thing I'm thinking is like, oh, it's like when you got your cat on Daddy's Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely looks like a stray cat. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. The perfect hat. <laughs> it's a perfect hat for a ride on Teddy's <laughs> fancy. <laughs> ah, I meant to bring this up to you the other day. I was walking into the gas station on Tuesday. Uh huh. And a guy stopped me outside of it. And he seemed like kind of a little bit out of it, but in kind of a wise way. Huh. And he was like, I have something to tell you, sir. And I said, oh, yeah. Your co-host, he's stealing money behind your back. <laughs> no. Yeah, do you have anything, no. you know anything about that? He definitely doesn't sound wise. He sound. I mean, listen, he sounded like a wizard. How did guy. he sound? He was like this. It was almost like he had some divine wisdom from the past. He didn't give you any details, did he? No, he just kind of left that said, up for you to He actually poofed into a bunch of smoke. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, he vaped a lot and then he walked away, I think. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody's stealing money. I think it's like, it's not theft if I know your password. And I, I don't. Yeah. But if I did, it's not, it's like saying, I can't steal something from your house if I have all the keys. <laughs> that No, you can. If I copy all the keys off your ring, and then I have my own keys. It's not really stealing. It is stealing. Yeah. How? Because it's, you're taking something that's not yours. Your password is can't have peanuts, man. Six 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 nine nine nine. How Sorry, is that? that's not that obvious. Why is that so obvious? You can't have peanuts. What sixty nine's funny, and the devil number is also funny, and plus Juice World. It did, didn't seem like you wanted to keep people out. I can't believe you guessed that. It was my third guess. <laughs> Do you want to know my first two? Yes. <laughs> Prettiestmustache.com. Hello, world. It's me, Riley. That was <laughs> ridiculous. Super long. I don't even think it would. Second, second guess. Honda Element, dude. Super chillaxin. 420 blaze me. Okay, well, that one's super obvious. because <laughs> That was your old like, password. Yeah, it's like my old password. That was yeah. your Facebook password. Well, I'm not stealing. End of story. And you got to quit hallucinating at the gas station. Did you see that Post Malone said that he smokes 40 to 60 cigarettes a day? And at, at, at a certain point, smoked 85 in one day. One of his biggest role models, Bob Dylan, uh -huh. famously did an interview in the 70s. Like, not about the amount of cigarettes, but they asked him the same thing. And he said three to four packs, which is right in that range. So he's... He's the, following in his footsteps. Yeah, yeah, like he's just doing what the, the greats before him did. And you know, Bob Dylan actually vapes now. Mm. Yeah, his friends are mad that he stopped smoking Newports at the Folk Festival. He went electric. <laughs> yeah, see, usually, I mean, listen, my bars are like good, but this is right up his alley. I mean, this is like his favorite stuff. <laughs> I'm going to bring in that into the fold. And so hence the kissing of the, the wrist, the kissing of the hand, as if I'm some sort of royalty. Usually you just roll your eyes. This is a whole different thing. And Bob Dylan went electric at the Newport Folk Festival. Yeah. People were upset. Imagine a time where you'd be upset. 
with someone using an electric guitar. And uh, Newport is a type of cigarette. Cigarette. Yeah. And vapes are electric. There we go. Fuck yeah, Riley. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like kind of a quadruple entendre. Fuck yeah, dude. Comes a time in every man's life we gotta stop pissing all over his legs. Stop pissing in the toilet. <laughs> like my pappy always said, he said, you got, there comes a time in every man's life where you gotta stop brushing his teeth with honey and start using toothpaste. <laughs> Basically, you're gonna have to grow up and stop rubbing chocolate all over your body every morning when you wake up. <laughs> and just put on food and go to work. <laughs> Ant hills are like Jesus' nipples. <laughs> wow, not taking a point. Humble, too. Humble and smart. I'm probably not even in the top 10 most humble guys, though. Oh, for real? No, honestly, for that one, I'm probably not even in the top, like, I don't know, 250 most humblest. No! Be ridiculous. I'm probably not even in the top 10 ESPN Sports Center plays of the week. No, you're probably not, dude. You don't play any professional sports, let alone any amateur. Don't ones. rub it in, dude. I'm already not in the East ESPN Sports Center top plays of the week, and now you're here telling me that I don't even play professional sports, dude. You don't even e-sport. Read the room, dude. I'm not doing well. I mean, I've never even seen you catch a baseball. Stop <laughs> talking about sports. You're dead. When I'm down. Your dad had to donate like twenty thousand dollars to your high school just to keep you on the basketball team, and still they made you the water boy. I mean, that's fucked up. I said stop talking about it, dude. I'm not even sorry. It's just ridiculous. Why would you be on Sports Center's top ten plays, dude? I don't know. I did the dishes like super fast last week. I thought <laughs> I thought that had a chance. Like my roommates all filmed it. It was like really good, <laughs> but like, I, mean, I don't know. I Maybe they didn't get the tape. I don't know where you're supposed to submit them. It could just be that it got to the wrong P.O. box or like whatever. Maybe it'll be on next week. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Is your happiness hinging on this? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I just need something like that. Like Sports Center Top 10 or like, uh, I don't know, Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> It's like something cool has to happen at some point. It's been yeah. so long. I mean, can I be at least be on Tosh.0 oh or something? That show's still on? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. I watch it all the time, dude. Can I be on fucking Ridiculousness? That show's still on? I get top 10 Ridiculousnesses? I just want to be on the top 10 Ridiculousnesses. Even that would be fine. Yeah. But it's just like ESPN Sports Center would be the best, obviously. <laughs> you can't even skateboard. I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, dude, my stomach might be too much. Go. Well, I'm not doing it. There's nothing to do. Go to the hospital. <laughs> Get it figured out. My stomach's rumbling. You want me to figure go it out? You want me to go to the hospital mid video because my stomach's rumbling? I'd rather you do that than die on us unexpectedly. <laughs> Just be me on YouTube. <laughs> Hi, it's Dignan. You're watching the Diggy Show, and we don't care no more. That's a good intro. That's a good spinoff. I yeah. like that. Yeah. If my stomach gets to be too much and I got to go to the hospital mid video, we can always kick it to the Diggy Show. And today's guest, a live crocodile. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Each episode, I'm just let loose into a room with a different wild animal. <laughs> today's guest, 14 mongooses. <laughs> I believe it's mongoose. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. A coveted moment of any artist's career. And you are Graydon? Sammy. Your home address is 1256. <laughs> Jesus, how'd you know that? <laughs> well, you're a Graydon from Hive Mind. We have to know. Oh, God. Tell my parents to hide. <laughs> they're getting swatted. Nardwar <laughs> swatted my parents. <laughs> now they're in a Colombian prison. January 8th, 1998. Oh, no. How'd you... I didn't kill him. I thought I settled this in court. <laughs> what the... Vehicular? <laughs> oh, no! Um, <laughs> Vehicular? I wasn't drunk. I was buzzed. 1.1. <laughs> <laughs> Blood alcohol, yeah. BAC. Yeah, yeah, that's right, BAC. Who jogs at midnight? We weren't even wearing a reflector. Nissan. Oh, uh, yeah, it was an Ultima, I guess. It was, it was my new Ultima. I just leased it. Six fractures. Yeah, I got six fractures in my forearms after putting the person out of their misery, yeah. And you are? <laughs> Graydon from Hive Mind, yeah. Thanks, Nardwar. This has been a super good interview. Keep on rocking in the free ride. I don't want to keep that. <laughs> if I ever get interviewed by Nardwar, I'm going to piss my pants during the interview. That's a promise to you, my fans. <laughs> I got stuck behind a bus on the way here. Did you? Yeah, I hate children. Like, oh, I, ugh, so slow. Yeah, they Speed are. Speed so up! Oh, yeah. And those bus drivers, they always look so nasty. But you've never seen a person driving a school bus full of kids and been like, oh, they're hot. Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle was hot in like the nothing can hold her back. She's a free spirit kind of way. 
I mean that, and she has a huge ass and like tree trunk legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm more like about I'm more about like oh, well, what's up here. Are you? Yeah, I'm about what's up here. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Yeah. Bobbers. Bow bow. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Show me those big bobs, this isn't mommy. Me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't feel like myself doing that. I, I'm sorry to everybody who watches the Magic School Bus and everybody who watches High Mind. I'm sorry. That's just. That's yeah, not yeah, Riley. That's, yeah, that's not, not him. Me. That's not me. It's not him. I was trying to put on a little act, be a cool guy. Yeah. We I hear it. cool guys say stuff <laughs> like that, and it sounds that. normal, but when I say it, you know, it just it didn't come off right, and I'm sorry. So I'm going to go back to being me again. I hate children's books. I don't think kids should be reading. Oh, no, give them an iPad. Yeah, make them play games. Oh, uh, that's like good for that. their mind. It's yeah. stimulus. They like that. Stimulating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Candy Crush, you know, yep. all that sort of deal. <laughs> yeah. for Dolphin Olympics. Temple Run. Uh-huh. Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> Tinder is a good swipe, one. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Tinder for babies. Kinder. <laughs> that's already oh, a Kindergarten. Tinder Garden. Tinder Garden. Tinder That's super good. I, it's probably not a good, you're right. It's There's a lot. Of, it's course. a lot of, I mean, you'd, yeah. yeah of course, there's of some <laughs> ethical issues. I mean, what, what idea doesn't have ethical issues? Right. We can, there are obstacles. Let's <laughs> let's jump those hurdles. I'm Tinder Garden, great name. Great name. That's really all that matters. Bad place. Bad idea, <laughs> good name. We can fix that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? From the creators of Hive Mind, <laughs> we bring you Dinner Garden. <laughs> so your babies can finally find the perfect playmate. <laughs> Just no. put them in an Uber and send them <laughs> over <No>. there. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be all right. <laughs> Uber for children, where the drivers and the passengers are both kids. <laughs> that way it's safe. You can feel good knowing your child has been driven by another child. <laughs> All right, next album. <laughs> enough. Before we get canceled. <laughs> enough tech ideas. <laughs> enough Silicon Valley talk. I did not guess Chris Stapleton. Stapleton's a weird last name, isn't it? Stapleton. Hey, Stapleton, get over here. Your big ass ought to be on the football team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stapleton, you get dropped on your head when you were a kid? Get over here. What would your mother think if I told her you were smoking Cubano cigars at lunch? You're in fucking it in eighth grade. Where the fuck did you get a box of premium Cubano cigars? <laughs> Stapleton, are these things from Cuba? <laughs> I mean, holy shit. These things are expensive as fuck. You're literally 13 years old. I mean, I understand. You don't like the school lunches, but Cuban cigars? What the fuck, Stapleton? Stapleton, I'm serious. Where did you get these? Your dad's not even around. I don't know who you took them from. Come here, buddy. Well, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. There you there. There, there, child. Rest your weary eyes upon my shoulder. And the Grammy goes to Louis C.K. <laughs> oh, he's having a little dream again. I don't care about carbon emissions. I mean, I want to drive fast. <laughs> That's my boy. Talking in his sleep again. <laughs> uh, let's just throw it in the trash. I mean, it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little boy. Oh, I'm late for school. Okay, oh, he's back. <laughs> I definitely wasn't oh, pretending to be your dad again. I don't usually sleep during the videos, but... You were sleeping for a long time. Really? How oh, long? Oh, yeah. 12 years. 12 years? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, I've done it this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a big snooze. I had they a call lot it. of stuff to do yep. that I probably missed out on. <laughs> yep. A lot of people you knew died. Who's the president now? I, I can't call it. I think it's Oscar the Grouch. What? The <laughs> wow, they said it couldn't get crazier <laughs> than Trump, but geez, that is wild. The I whole mean, What the heck? The whole House of Representatives is puppets. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a puppet government. <laughs> it's a puppet government. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever just wonder what it would feel like to hit somebody with a bat? Like, just the sensation of it. Obviously, you know, I'm saying like, there's nobody in particular I want to hit. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm saying like, what would that feel like on your hands? You ever hit a mailbox with a bat? Yeah, it hurts. Right. It like shakes your, your hands yeah. like vibrate. You feel like you got electrocuted mm -hmm. if you do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you do it right. Because <laughs> you really got to <laughs> knock that thing over. Yeah. Think about hitting a person with that. It would just, oh, that blunt force trauma. I mean, oh boy, would it be satisfying? Maybe? I've done it with a golf club and let me tell you, Yes. Oh, wait, you hit somebody with a golf club? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, my high school bully. Oh. Yeah, it was last week, but he had it coming. <laughs> Dude, you are in your late 30s. He had it coming. Did he see it coming? No. Oh, oh, no. He was asleep. Oh, <laughs> God. Well, and like the courses are closed. I got to keep my swing loose for the season. I like the idea of you walking into a dark bedroom where your high school bully is sleeping and you turn to your caddy and you're like, what do you think, nine iron? <laughs> 
He had 156 <laughs> yards of the window. No breeze. It's 73 degrees in his house. Give me the pitching wedge. He's like, I don't think you can get it there. Give me the pitching wedge. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Hand me my putter. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna finish him off with a little tap. He picked the ball out of his mouth, tip your cap to his wife and leave the house. The kids. <laughs> his kids are like, he was a dick anyway, thanks. <laughs> You think you could get like the announcers of the Kentucky Derby in trouble if you named your horse? Like, no, seriously, I'm saying I'm gonna kill the president. <laughs> <laughs> and they're off and it's no, seriously, I'm saying I'm gonna kill the president out to an early lead. And it's Cheeseburger 4000 right behind him next to Old Green Grass Kentucky Blows. And they're coming around the final turn and it's no, seriously, I'm saying I'm gonna kill the president. He's got a four horse length. He's going, oh, and he's won the Kentucky Derby. No, seriously, I'm saying I'm gonna kill the president with another. Brilliant race. <laughs> and immediately, like, he gets coughed and taken out of the booth. No, seriously, that was his name, was no, seriously, I'm saying I'm gonna kill the Brit. They're like, stop! stop. He's such a crazy, quirky, silly guy. I love Nardwar. He's crazy, quirky, and silly. Yeah. Those are the things about him that I like a lot. What is that again? Crazy, quirky, and silly guy. Okay, yeah. It's kind of like me. I think I'm a little crazy, quirky, and silly, too. Uh, I think you're quirky, and you're definitely crazy. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know about silly. We... No? Oh, well, that was kind of silly, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, that's definitely silly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're getting sillier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's a little gross, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's silly. Yeah. Silly F, dude. That, proved, that's what my yeah. teachers called me. Yeah. Silly F. Yeah, you proved me wrong, honestly. Mm -hmm. All right, 2016. Let's think of something that happened this year, like another The bit. Cavs won the finals. Are you kidding me? Came back from 3-1 down, the greatest sports championship of all time. How yeah. could you forget 2016? I watched game five on acid in Ann Arbor. Really? In a crowded sports bar. It was one of the most intense trips I've ever had. Was it good? Oh, I was freaking out. I was like, <laughs> I was like in the game. Okay, I'll ask again. Was it good? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There were a hundred TVs around me and people like splashing beers around and I was sitting there like, <sighs> I was like speaking Latin to LeBron. And then, he, <laughs> and then he threw it off. This is the game where he threw it off glass. Yeah. And dunked it. And let's just say, I climaxed. <laughs> we can say that. I can say that. You, you can. You can say it. Yeah. I climaxed <laughs> on LSD in a sports bar in Ann Arbor. <laughs> Pair of pants. It's, it's all one. Yeah. Pair of socks, separate. You can lose, you don't lose the left leg of your pants. Honey, have you seen my other pant? <laughs> I cannot find my left pant. Shut up, I should have left you eight years ago. No, we, we're late for the party, I just can't find my other pant. The kids are dead and it's your fault. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, I just woke up. Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> I can feel! <laughs> Heaven is real! <laughs> Wake up! I have zero idea what character you're playing. That, <laughs> I think he was that. the dead child. Was no, that? I was playing the dead kid. Yeah, oh, he was the dead child. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, man, he was the dead kid. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I get it. You were the dead child. Yeah, so yeah. We have dead, the dead kids are you were, dead. You were my nagging wife. Nagging wife, yeah. I was kind of like the layabout dad who never did do care about nothing. And Nick was the uh, reincarnated version of one of our dead children who died because you fed them too much cookie crisp. Cookie crisp. <laughs> no, no, they're still alive. <laughs> you're not the dog. <laughs> you are not the dog for the good. <laughs> Gonna be the dog for a minute. The dog's okay. dead too. Here, wait, I'll do the wife thing first, okay? okay. All right. Let him be the dog. All right. Honey, I really don't want to get into this. We're just late for this party, and I want to find one pant. I told you you should have never. Cookie Crisp! I love that dog. Get over here. Who's a good dog? Cookie Crisp! That's a good dog. Pretty badass. I mean, that looks like a still 13 footer. I mean, that thing could whip through a cedar in no time. Birch? Don't even talk about it. Like butter. <laughs> Strong, not strong enough for the old still 13 footer. It's a good chainsaw. <laughs> Trees in my neighborhood stay in no chains. City don't want me cutting them down. Said they've been growing them for years to yeah. provide shade for the children and create a more aesthetically pleasing drive down the residential roads. I say, bah humbug. 
I'm selling that. For firewood, 20 bucks a barrel, it's in my front yard. What is a city anyway, saying they own the trees? Man, bullshit. Trees been here longer than the city. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> The only person who's gonna own that tree is whoever buys the firewood from the barrels in my front well, yard. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. That's who's gonna own the fucking then tree. They own the tree. Rightfully so. Business done the old fashioned way. Cash on hand. Cash on hand. OBO. Or best offer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they can pay whatever they like. Sure, because that's just fair. Elected a mayor. Younger than my youngest. I said, what the fuck? How's a kid gonna tell me what to do? Yeah, fucking child mayor. You gotta be shitting me. If I didn't have all my marbles in a row, I'd go down to City Hall myself and I'd chop his legs off. With my still, 13 footer. It would have no problem ripping through his little baby boy flesh. And I'd chop him up and I'd sell him for an honest price, OBO, in a barrel in my front yard. I don't do Facebook Marketplace. I've been swindled too many times. People tell me they have a vintage Zoltar machine. I show up, it's from the 90s. I said, when the fuck did the 90s become vintage? I was born in 77, what's that make me, a relic? That's right, barrel of bones in my front yard. Fibias, tibias, femurs, all from city officials. $20, OBO. Can't like everybody, that's what they told me. Me. Who? My Instagram coach. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that guy. He said, you can't like everybody, okay? Give likes to everybody, that doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. Your like has to mean something. So uh -huh. Your like has to have value. You're gonna like 10 posts a month. That's it. Uh -huh. 10 posts a month. Right, 10. <laughs> Got it. That's one every three days. Okay. So it's a really cool trick. It better be the fucking best trick I've ever seen if I'm gonna like it. What do you mean trick? <laughs> I, I follow a lot of trick shot pages. Oh, trick shot. I, yes. was, I was picturing a magician. It could be a magician. I follow a bunch of magicians as well. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Could be a huge juicy ass. <laughs> yeah. But it better be the biggest, fattest, juiciest ass I've ever seen if I'm gonna like it. Is this how your coach my talks? Like me. Yes, my coach talks exactly like this. <laughs> okay. This is an impression of my coach. Yeah. Likes are currency. Okay. Like 10 posts a month. If you like 11 posts, you're done, you're washed. It's too many. Your Instagram means nothing. <laughs> You've lost value then. Delete your Instagram, you're losing value. I'm starting to understand now. 10 picture carousels. First one's a question, the 10th one's an answer. Ah. Every swipe is an interaction. Oh, Would you rather have one swipe right or 10 swipes right? I, I guess 10. 10, yeah. say 10. <laughs> I did. Say 10. I said 10. Said it, say it again. 10. Delete your Instagram. <laughs> okay. Diggy can't keep getting skunked or I'm gonna go goose mode on you. Goose mode? What's yeah, that? that's if I have zero points through the first three questions, I'm gonna start honking and flapping at you like a goose. What? Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Ugh. You're not gonna like it. I do not wanna see goose mode. Yeah, I'm gonna poop all over the studio too. What the hell? It's what the goose does. I'm going goose mode. Three, two, one. I put take my breath and starry eyes. I put out of time and best friends. It is sacrifice and don't break my heart. Really? Yes. Sacrifice is number one? By a long shot too. Oh my gosh, and Don't Break My Heart is my favorite song on the album. It's Out of Time and Don't Break My Heart are my two favorites. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not even a haunt. <laughs> oh my God, that's like a screech. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, jeez, it's like a pterodactyl mode. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know geese were so fat. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not a fan of goose mode, man. I don't know. Neither am I. I don't like this either. All right? I wish I got some of the questions right. Oh, Jesus. What, just because you weren't allowed on spring break that year doesn't mean you gotta hold grudges against me, asshole. It's not that I wasn't allowed, I wasn't invited. Ah, well, what's the difference? You weren't allowed because we didn't want you there. I, but that's not, uh, whatever. Your mom really wanted you to come too. She I know. begged us. She said, please take Riley, he's got no friends. <laughs> we said, we're skimboarding, he can't hang. <laughs> You really I can't skimboard for shit. Can we please change the subject? Fine. Spring Break 2018. Miami. Lit. Rolls Royce. Phantom. Me. Pitbull. Hulk Hogan. In the club. Drunk as fuck. You know how much I love Hulk Hogan. This is just, I, oof, I hate this story. Fine, I'll change the subject. Spring Break 2019. Oh yes, I was out of college for a few years. Still went. Banger of a time, as in South Carolina this time. All sorts of badass shit was going on. <laughs> Fucking NASCAR race was happening. National Bird Watchers Convention. <laughs> Woo, man, that shit was crazy. We shut it down. Had yeah, bottles of, all sorts of bottles. Woo, <laughs> man, I love spring break, dog. I'm very excited for you to guess from this. Me too. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. <laughs> this is one of those ones, if I knew it, I'd know it, you know? Do you know what the voice is? 
Yeah, it's square pants. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's square pants, man. Of course there's no square pants. We went to college together. We were hazed in the same fraternity. What is this voice? They hazed me in square pants. Hazed the shit out of us. <laughs> we persevered and we became brothers. Our friendship that we formed that semester would last the rest of our lives. Except I didn't know that I was taking him for granted. And when I lost him too early, it would change everything. And my kids would grow up without the uncle that they should have had. Yeah, man. Uh, he's a fictional sponge from a Nickelodeon <laughs> TV show. But... but we were in the same fraternity. Yeah, it's just not true. And the bond we made that semester, I thought, would last a lifetime. How are you criticizing me for having an imaginary dinosaur best friend when I was a kid, and you believe that you went to college with SpongeBob SquarePants? He should have never attempted those ridiculous motorcycle stunts. But I didn't have the heart to stop him. And, in fact, I took joy in the fanfare, and I'd say... There goes my square pants. That's my brother, who we got hazed together in the same fraternity. And he didn't even die in a motorcycle stunt. He died in a carryout at 3 a.m., trying to help the poor lady behind the cash register from getting robbed. The pistol went off accidentally, they said. <laughs> And he's only serving four years for manslaughter. But if I know one thing, if it weren't for square pants being in that carryout that night, there would have been a lot more dead bodies in this city. Jesus, man. <laughs> Can you please just guess? I like simple tasks nowadays. Uh, this helps me clear my mind, get right. I'm on the lawn with my bare hands, making a fire in my backyard to heat up my bath water for my wife and I. Run getting stamps from the post office. Don't even gotta ship anything. Just, <clears throat> just like stamps. Like to keep up on which government holidays are coming up too, and the stamps often replicate those mm -hmm. oncoming government holidays. Polishing my hammer. That's a good one. I don't think you can say that one anymore these days. The kids are using that phrase for something else. I don't keep up with that stuff. I've been too busy polishing my hammer. <laughs> I polish my hammer at work. On the weekends, I polish my hammer as well. Out in public, I'll polish my hammer. Maybe you want to try greasing your wrench. Jacking off at the baseball stadium. <laughs> You know, the simple stuff. Calling in bomb threats to my kid's middle school just so I get to spend the day with him. Printing out pictures of all my female co-workers <laughs> and burning them. <laughs> it's really the simple things in life. It really is. That will bring you back to earth. <laughs> that is so true, Graydon. Mm -hmm. Offering a helping hand to the guy at the gas station who seems homeless and beating the absolute dog crap out of him. Well, CJ crossed my mind for a second, but then I was like, wait a minute, he hasn't been doing this for a while. He's a fucking industry plant. He's like a fraud. CJ's a fraud. And I'm authentic. I'm a real person named Dignan, who's real and has a history and a long list of friends and family. I'm real. I do have a Facebook. Does CJ have a Facebook? He's addicted to blue cheese. That's disgusting. I'm addicted to opiates. <laughs> Weak ones, too. Two milligram perkies. <laughs> Take 80 of them a day. I microdose perkies. Dignan, yeah. that's 160 milligrams of perk a day. Right. <laughs> that's so funny. But I don't take it all at once. <laughs> Doesn't matter, bro. That's way too much. I'm microdosing, which is what celebrities do. <laughs> Pete Davidson microdoses. <laughs> he doesn't microdose Percocet. Okay, and that makes him better? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, yeah. Today's societal standards are trash, bro. CJ's addicted to blue cheese. You think childhood obesity is a joke? What are these kids growing up listening to this gonna do? They're gonna go out and buy buckets of blue cheese and devour it behind their little computer screens. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Caldwell. Darling, open your eyes. That might be my wedding song. I'm down. What? You don't have to give me permission. When marrying you, I think I have a Fuck say. Fuck no, you ain't. What ain't the hell? You. I'm not marrying you again. We tried it in college for the tax break, and then you you just assumed the role of mean wife. We were like, yeah, we're buddies. All we do is sit around, chill, and smoke. Let's get some money. Yeah. We went to the courthouse that day. Uh -huh. We got married, and then you were like, why don't you get a fucking job? And I was like, yo, Riley, chill out, man. I'm rolling us out blunt. And you were like, all I do is work. Yeah. All I do is I do the dishes. Yep. I come home see, and you're in the same spot. See, the same spot. See, oh, you going out with your friends again tonight? See, I don't know. Going out with your friends again tonight. I don't know where this Did goes. you forget about your goddamn family? <laughs> see, I don't I don't know where this comes from. What happened to you? <laughs> Why? Why is this We character used to love each other. Your parents are happy, so it's not like internalized trauma from your childhood, it's like, where's this coming from? It's like, you want to be this. It's weird. I put this family first again <laughs> and again, we don't. and all you do is care about yourself. Yep. We don't have a family. We just bought a pound of weed, and I'm trying to smoke. I fucked the pool, boy. Great. We don't have a pool. <laughs> now, your mom mm -hmm. has a dog grooming business. Yes, she does. Okay. 
As one of her services, she offers massages. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little weird. <laughs> How would you ever know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? How do they keep track of that? It's like in the waiting room, like, get his shoulders. Nope. <laughs> she gets the dog back and they're like, okay, nails are clipped, everything. He still seems stressed, though. <laughs> are you sure you gave him that massage? Why would she ever give a massage it's to the dog? The, it's good for the dog. I know, but she doesn't have to. There's no way to check. It's just a waste of time. It's like an extra 40 bucks for nothing. <laughs> like, you don't have to do it. It's like five bucks. The, I know, the dog can't tell tell them, hey, she that lady did not massage me, just so you know. Can I get an itemized receipt? <laughs> like, it says massage here, but look at him. He's like, he's like, he's like oh, geez. <laughs> There's a lot of scams you can do. Oh, totally. Yeah. Rotating my tires. Yeah. Well, oh, you spun them around? <laughs> How am I going to know? Yeah. It's a circle. <laughs> Three, two, one. Rembo. We're going with Doja's. Rumble received a 7.6 and Doja received a 7.8. Oh my gosh. Bow! It's going to be a long day if you watch my cock. <laughs> know what I'm saying, son? Bow, bow, bow. What's up, Pitchfork? I'm looking for a job. I just killed my co-host, so I'm unemployed now. <laughs> if y'all need some zany, wacky, funny action over there, me and DJ Grant could be there tomorrow or something. I don't know, I don't got much going on this weekend. <laughs> I'ma put on Riley's gravestone. Never really learned how to use chopsticks properly. Thanks for watching. This was another edition of Which Album Pitchfork Ranked Higher. Don't, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff that my dead co-host said in the beginning. Uh, thanks to Amazon Music again for sponsoring this video. Super cool, thank you, it means a lot. And um, if you want us to play this game again, if you had fun playing it with us, send Grant some classic albums that Pitchfork reviewed, either surprisingly high, surprisingly low. Um, thanks again for watching Hive Mind. Riley, do you have any advice for the people? Yeah, um, I don't think it's that important to use chopsticks. I mean, we thought of the fork. Okay, stealing Jerry Seinfeld's bits again. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Did I hit all the marks? <laughs> <laughs> and Graydon, would you like to leave? Yes. Well. <laughs> <Cool. laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll see you later, by the way. Right, right, good. Cool. You're good. <laughs> All right, this has been High Mind TV. We'll see you in the next one. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> this is my favorite list yet. <laughs> These are truly essentials. Well, you could live off this for the rest of your life. You could not. Sure. There's no water in there. How do you think the coal is a liquid? Well, okay, sure, <laughs> fine, whatever. And then you can eat the soap and you can clean yourself with the Eggos and you use the Kool-Aid to summon the Kool-Aid man if you ever find yourself in a pinch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You've never <sighs> emptied out a Kool-Aid packet, made a pentagram, slit your wrists over it and squeezed out a little blood. And then, poof, Kool-Aid man appears and you can give him one task. Kind of like a me seeks, but more satanic. Yeah. And then he'll yeah. take care of that task, mm -hmm. top you off, and then he's gone for the night. <laughs> Just the way you navigate life, kind of your touch points are not similar to mine. It's becoming hard to be relatable to you. You've never done that. No, I've never made a pentagram out of Kool-Aid powder. Summon the Kool-Aid man so he can come here. I give him one task. He goes and does it, then tops me off, and he's on his way. No, that's never happened to me. Did you fucking drink it? Yeah, sometimes I drink Kool-Aid. <laughs> he doesn't show up if you drink it. Don't you have something he could do? I, I'm I, <laughs> He's so Sorry, I've never been in a pinch and thought, hey, I really wish the Kool-Aid man was here he to do one task for me, then give me a blowjob. Think, man, he has infinite strength. He knows like 40 languages. He's merciless. He'll kill babies, old women, whatever is in his way. He'll destroy them. Listen, he can't be linked to the crime. I'm You're <laughs> off the hook. Listen, I'm happy for you, man. I like that you have a life that is so exciting and vibrant, but my Mine is just not relatable, so I'd like to get, just get back to the game. Whatever, I know this one anyway. Three, two, one. Eleven from Stranger Things. Kodak Black. <laughs> this is NLE Chopper. Damn it. I will probably go my whole life and never see this. There's a lot of things I thought I'd go my whole life without seeing, and boy, oh boy, was I wrong.
Inflation, interest rates at 10%. Gas prices this high. The US dollar being worth more than the euro. A president falling asleep talking. Shit, the Eagles being 8 0. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell in a Cavs jersey. Never thought I'd see that. Yep. My own cousin die in my own arms. Right? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, yeah. Crystal Pepsi coming back. I never thought I'd see that. <laughs> I didn't real. Yeah, no, yeah. It's not. It's my not. uncle dying in my own arms. Oh, shit. Your the uncle day too. after my cousin died in my yeah. own arms. That yeah. like that. seems like a coincidence. Uh-huh. Yeah. Flaming hot Mountain Dew. I mean, why are they, what are they selling out yeah, here? You know I what I mean? Know. Yeah, my aunt dying in my <laughs> own arms. Jesus. <laughs> the day after my uncle died, subsequently after my cousin died. Subsequently. Wow. So whatever. <laughs> like they were related. Have you, the told, death have you told anyone about this? I'm telling you guys right now. This doesn't seem like the right setting. No. Maybe the Dill pickle flavored Lay's. Yeah, right. Those Weird flavor. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. My grandpa dying in my own arms. <laughs> the day after my aunt died in my own arms, which is the day after my uncle died in my own arms, which is the day after my cousin died in my own arms. Yeah. You just got to chalk it up to bad luck. Yeah, at that point. It's just a, <laughs> that's a rough week, Riley. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough one, you know. Electric cars. Wow, yeah. I never saw those <laughs> never coming. Never saw those coming, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that's it? it? <laughs> that's all? You're done? That's all the crazy stuff? My infant son no! died. No! The day after my grandpa died in my own arms was the day after my aunt died in my own arms was the day after my uncle died in my own arms was the day after my cousin died in my own arms. Wow. Well, you're extremely well adjusted for all the grief that you've oh. suffered in yeah. the yeah. sometimes. And luckily I have a big wingspan. I was holding a lot of people that fifth day. <laughs> that fifth day was like, oh my God. <laughs> Why were they piling on? Well, I mean, you can understand it'd be tough to... To let go. Yeah, to let go. Yeah. At least the last one was a baby. Oh, yeah. It kind of fit yeah. right on top. It was yeah. almost like the cherry on top of, <laughs> of like, like family. family death Sunday. God, that's morbid. Actually, well, it all happened Monday through Friday, so <laughs> Sunday, but yeah. Tough a lot of weekend. time to watch the game. Yeah, hey, still got to catch the Eagles. You know I mean? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Not Afraid by Eminem. I put Drake Views. I put Without Me by Eminem. I think Riley got it. This is Till I Collapse. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh my god, holy <laughs> shit. I'm sorry, Em. I should have never tried so <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. What's the point? Oh my god, what? <laughs> you put them on the list, they go on to have their own careers. Who cares? I mean, yeah, it's just like any award show or magazine cover. It's like, it doesn't really matter who's it's on meaningless. it. meaningless. I know, but nothing to hang your head over, you know? <sighs> Listen, I know that you're pretty bummed that Dignan wasn't on the list this year, but to be fair, he's never released a song. It's just like, that wouldn't make any sense. It's literally better than everyone on there. That's fine, but he's the co-host of a semi-popular YouTube channel who doesn't even rap. He does, though. He raps to me in his car. It's really good. I mean, yeah. Like, I'll give him words. I'll just say something. Yeah. And then the next line, he puts it in perfectly. No matter what cadence or flow he's using, he just incorporates what I say into a stream of consciousness rap that always flows perfectly. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, listen, it's impressive, I admit, sure, and it's fun, and it's cool, and I like the guy, but it would not make sense for the list, man. I mean, it just, they never pick somebody who's never released a song. He did the whole alphabet. Each word he'd start a bar with was symbolic of the alphabet in order, and he went all the way to C. What did he use for X? Xylophone. Okay, I figured it was. <laughs> Xylophone yeah, is a probably. freaking sin. We've all come such a long way in this life. That's true. I used to make people proud. I don't believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah. for real. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, back in the day, I used to do community service, I used to take care of my old sick parents. God, like, is that you? Yeah, I switched up on them. Nowadays, it feels like you just kind of like take whatever drug people give you, you sleep through work, yeah. you kind of lay around, you yell mean stuff at people, you uh-huh. get drunk and don't remember it. Yeah. Misogynist. What? Let's not, 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 not get I mean, that. you love it when I do it. Oh, wow. What the fuck? <laughs> See what I mean? It's not so bad being a misogynist now, huh? It doesn't. <laughs> you can call me your dirty little massage nest. I don't think that's a good idea to go with. What? I'm just, I know, I, yeah. I I'm guess. like an artist of the body. <laughs> Holy fuck, that feels good. I'm a misogynist. <laughs> Dude, I'm starting to hate women this way. <laughs> it's Sweeney from the outside. 
Yes! Sweeney drives through the lane with an emphatic slam. Who's Sweeney? Sydney Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney? Yeah, I'm she's back the, on this. She's in the NBA now. She is? Sweeney with a steal. Oh, windmill dunk showtime, Sweeney. Sweeney from a different area code. <laughs> yes! Sweeney wanted the foul on that one. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney of Euphoria with the windmill dunk. And the Lakers are feeling some euphoria tonight, folks. <laughs> Coach Judd Apatow's chosen to take a time out here. <laughs> Sweeney to Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Down to Jason Momoa on the block. Spin move. Move, slam! <laughs> and Sweeney and Curry are barking at each other at half court. They're gonna have to break them up. What a season for Sweeney. Unlimited range on that chick. <laughs> mm, I think we could build a bulimic society. Yellowtail? Uh, <laughs> Bulbasaur? Uh, Charmander? Uh, <laughs> it's like, where are you sometimes? Like, what world are you in? Uh, I've been working on a new impression, by the way. This, okay. is, this is my Raichu impression. Oh, great. Okay. Let's hear it. I'm Raichu. <laughs> I'm another little Pokemon. Use Thunderbolt, they say. Mm. They say use Thunderbolt. Mm. I'm so happy you evolved <laughs> me into Raichu. It's a wonderful Pokemon as well. Not a lot of credit for Raichu. It's all about Pikachu. Pikachu's everybody's favorite. <laughs> Little do they know, Pikachu ruined the economy. He did, he did a very bad job. He did job. a bad job with the <laughs> We're gonna do a good job, me and Ash. Zap, zap, I'm a bigger mouse. S tier, I'm a drainer. Drain. Drain! Drain, private! <laughs> I'm at draining camp, it's super hard. <laughs> Drain, private! Drain! <laughs> Harder, private! Your mama raised you to drain like that? Love to play the victim. You think if our boys would have drained like that in World War II, we'd still be standing on American soil? Drain, private! Drain! <laughs> Harder! Take pills, private! More pills! <laughs> Do Kratom, private! More jewelry, private! Earrings, necklace, pearls, lip rings, nose rings! Get out of the shower, private! That's not how you drain! You need to sweat and sleep in the sweat! And stick up every room you walk into if you're gonna wanna drain in my platoon! Enough neo-traditional tattoos, private! You need more sticking posts! <laughs> Drain! Whoa, cowboy. Rigid. Rigid as a horse. <laughs> wow. He stays still. Those horses are like beasts. Do you think... <laughs> If you were in a barn, a barn with a horse, do you think you could kill it with just your bare hands before you either die or the horse kills you? Yeah. What? Yeah, I know a spot. Are you gonna tell us? I know the spot on a horse where you can kill it. Okay, yeah. where is it? Go Here's ahead. Here's a little, I'll give you a hint. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where it's at. It's on the inside. Yeah, you have to <laughs> get in there. Are you talking about the heart? The brain, <laughs> perhaps? And guess which way you go in. Not through the mouth. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, a horse's heart is lo like located closer to its stomach, and if you can get about here, you can get the heart and bring it out. He used, does he know anything about Oh, this? yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's from the country. I used to have two horses, Poker and Teddy. Poker and Teddy? What the fuck? Why are you looking Whoa, at me Whoa, like I that? didn't mean it like that. Oh. I was just surprised. I was like, why? I didn't name them. Cowboys did. <laughs> He's been really depressed lately. Yeah, not I hope feeling he's doing so crazy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think it's good though. You shouldn't feel crazy all the time. But if you could, would you? No. If there was never the come down, if you were always just on the rise up, you know what I'm talking about? If you could no. just ride the crazy wave for the rest no. of your life, would you? No. Drink with no hangover? Wake up feeling just as crazy as the night before? Yeah, I get. No. I mean, would you? No. If you had one ticket to crazy town, <laughs> would you take it? Probably not. It's a free ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ask someone else, and if you can't find anyone, I, I guess I can clear my schedule. I mean, can you just imagine it? Insanity front to back? Yeah. Never a dull moment? Yeah, no, I don't think I'd like that. Sounds exhausting. Me, I'd kill for it. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Kill who? Borderline anybody. Uh, no, I was just about to say, don't, don't say anybody. You can't say you. Borderline anybody. <laughs> That's gonna. There's certain people that I wouldn't kill. Like, yeah, I just hope. Just a few though. I hope I'm one of them. Because this ride <laughs> is crazy. Is I get a it. crazy ride. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. The whole way through. Right on. In a Lincoln town car. Oh, great. Nothing <laughs> crazy about a Lincoln. <laughs> Somebody order pancake. Through the wire, come on. Shout out to Cootie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Kanye asked me to do the through the wire video, I couldn't say no, despite it being my daughter's first birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kanye 
told me to eat shit and die. <laughs> And that's when I knew it was time to spend time with my family. Although my wife and kids did not recognize me, I had the tapes to prove that I was friends with Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kanye threw a brick through my living room window. And that's when I knew it was time to reunite with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> we were going back on tour. Detroit! Dude, I completely forgot to ask you about this. Hmm. The other day when I was driving, I saw one of those Little Caesars guys out spinning the sign like for the pizza place, and it looked just like you. <laughs> no, it have didn't. You, have you been doing <laughs> no, that? No, it didn't. What the hell? No, it didn't look <laughs> just like me. What are you talking about? Have you been picking up shifts as the sign guy at Little Caesars? <laughs> you did not see what you thought you saw. You must have been high or having a common illusion. That was not me, okay? Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. This is, I was just wondering if you were spinning a sign at Little Caesars. It's not that big of a deal. No, I'm not crying. Yeah, the $5 hot and ready is not $5 anymore. So what? It's nothing to cry over. They still have great deals. It's still one of the top sign spinning jobs you can get in the industry. <laughs> I mean, it's head and heels above a car wash or something, or like a uh, Metro PCS. The Little Caesars job's like one of the top ones. For sign spinning? Abs yes. You better watch your tongue. And anyway, it wasn't me, okay? I didn't know sign spinning was an industry of any kind. I didn't know there's a ranking of sign spinning. Right, now you pissed me off. It was me, motherfucker, and I'm the best goddamn sign spinner on Six Mile. And you let Joey, Bryce, and Angelica, they can get fucked. That's my block. I'm the sign spinner. I invented the triple twirl. And I'm the first one to ever stand on his own sign. I spun it. And I stood right on top of it like a little perch. And it kept spinning. And so did I. And I'm not gonna stop. Just cause some big wig from Hollywood. Ah, <laughs> you know what? You struck a nerve, buddy. You just really, really struck a nerve. How about you don't drive around anymore to places you don't need to go? Are Joe, Bryce, and Angelica other sign spinners? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't, I... You could call them that. <laughs> I don't I care. I'm not invested in the drama of the sign spinning community. I'm just asking. I will fucking end this town. <laughs> oh, I will end it. Joker style. Let me show you a little something. That was, that was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Now what? Who's the big dog on Six Mile now? I mean, are you willing to go on record for $25 million? Would you have sex with a dolphin? Yes. <laughs> okay, I was excited. Sorry, can you ask it again? I want to answer it faster. Okay, are you willing to go on record for $25 million to fuck a dolphin? Yes. Okay, didn't even really get the finish. I think I, I think that would have counted on Jeopardy. Yeah, like, right. like I think I buzzed in perfectly at the right time, but yes, I would. How long would you have a sexual relationship for a dolphin? Would it be the rest of your life? You have access to that. Not the rest of my life. At some point, I'm going to have to come. Like, I'd say, you know what I mean? I don't think I have the endurance to do yeah. the rest of my life, let alone maybe even 10 minutes with that corkscrew pussy they've got. <laughs> They've got it's that it's vor a vortex. It's the vortex pussy. Yeah, sorry, it's a vortex. It's yeah. a vortex. Yeah, they've got a vortex vagina. Would you have sex three times a week with a dolphin? Yes. Okay. That's, that's for what? I don't know. Twenty yes. billion dollars. Sorry. <laughs> Free cigarettes. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Because you'll have to move to Florida. You're an iron worker, Harry. <laughs> Join the union! <laughs> you're a construction worker, Harry. Ron, you're a lift driver. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. <laughs> Hermione, you're a barista. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Ace Ron's in a union. <laughs> you're a substitute teacher, Jenny. No! <laughs> Weird mogul white guys, do they always just call them their initials? I like going by DZ, my initials. I thought your last name was Durkin. Oh. What? What'd you think my last name was? Durkin. Oh, man. You've told me that. Many times you said it's Dignan Durkin. Never did. <laughs> it's Zazumba. Zazumba. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the shortened version too. What's the full last name? Zazumba Zaffodil. Zazumba Zaffodil. I dropped the second one. It's a long family story. I don't really want to get into it, but yeah. Sounds like it'd be a long family story. It's a long family name. Holy shit. Okay, now we're dragging my family through the mud. Zazumba Zaffodil. Chill, it's just Zazumba now. Okay, sorry. I don't I don't mean to disrespect the Zazumba family, but you told me your last name was Durkin. And all of your siblings have D names, so you said that that was why. Like your brother Dunlap. It's Zazumba. 
Zumba now, all right? Dunlap's a Zumba? I don't even wanna talk about Dunlap, dude. What's wrong with Dunlap? He was cool. He owes me 50 bucks. 50 bucks and you're that? You don't even wanna mention him? Fuck him. Fuck him for yeah. $50. He <laughs> turned his back on the Zaffodil family. I don't know, man. He was cool when I met him. He had a bunch of sick video games. You can call me DZ if you want, all right? I would prefer to just call you Dignan. Okay. I like Durkin way more. Okay, great. I wish your last name was Frevels. Riley Frevels? Yes. Okay. We're getting sidetracked. Yeah, we're getting sidetracked. We got shit we have to do. We have to do this video, but yeah. Dignan's a Zumba, everybody. <laughs> yes. It's not, you don't have to comment. It. Would you rather have 490 bucks or have dinner with Conan O'Brien? 490? Why is it so specific? That's how much I got in my wallet. <laughs> Actually? Yeah, and Conan's outside. So, quick, make a decision. <laughs> oh, shit. He's uh, waiting. Shit, shit, he's very tall. Yeah, he's huge. He's tall, he's funny. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like a late night king. Yep. Uh, let's do Conan. Con I, I don't have dinner plans All for right. tonight, so I'll just go with Conan. Cool. Yes. Yeah, Mr. O'Brien? Yep, no. Oh, no. Wait. He's gonna, what? That creep Andy Richter's not gonna be there, right? Uh, let me check. Okay. Yeah, he's ready to go to dinner. Um, it's just a table for two, right? For the re three. <laughs> Why is it three? Oh, Richter's no. Richter's coming. Nix it. No, I'm not going with Richter. He's a creep. Um, he'll take the money. Is that our? Yeah. Yep. See if he can get Richter to leave. See if Richter can like go to the library or something. Does he read? Are you willing to take ninety bucks off? Maybe we could pay Richter to leave. Wait, why am I getting the money and the dinner? <laughs> Can you pay Andy 90 bucks not to come to dinner and still give my client the money? No, I don't need the money. Just oh. give the money to Richter. Oh, give the money to Richter and tell him to scram. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, Conan. Yep, he'll be right out. Can I come? Oh, yeah, no, stupid question. Sorry. All right, see ya. Mm -hmm. You're going to Sloppy Chops with Conan. Oh, sloppy Brian. Chops, Dude. let's go. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I haven't been there. I've heard good things though. I'm excited for you. You're gonna wanna dry off your hands though. They're very wet. <laughs> They're wet, huh? Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Conan O'Brien and <laughs> yeah. me? Sloppy Chops. Well, little old me at Sloppy Chops with Conan <laughs> O'Brien? I mean, who would've thought? Well, you gotta think at least 700 million of those are weddings. Ah. You know, can't uh -huh. you see like father-daughter dancing oh, to this? yeah. Or maybe father-dad dancing to this? Father-dad, two dads. <laughs> Two dads dancing? That's okay. Yeah, no, it's fine, but it's not. <laughs> I don't think dad, it's what you were the, trying to say. Well, the father-dad dance at a wedding. The father-dad dance? Yeah, it's like, so the bride's father dances with the <laughs> groom's dad. <laughs> it's a big thing at weddings. Mm -hmm. And it's usually choreographed and kind of like, <laughs> like it's a hitter. It's yeah. not like a slow dance. If you think about it, we're kind of all doing a father-daughter dance with father time. Oh, yeah. And that's a slow dance. MFR. <laughs> I mean, Ed writes wedding jams, man. Yeah. This is like when the two grandmas on each side kind of cartwheel down the aisle with the rings. What are the weddings <laughs> that you're going to, man? I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> the, like, I mean, there are wedding traditions out there that I'm not familiar with. I mean, there's different cultures and all that, and I'm 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 hip to that. But this is different. Man. It's called Grandma's Last Wheel, and it's the last time the grandmas get to do cartwheels, and they do them with their fingers interlocked, and they kind of do them together. <laughs> what? I've seen it at least three times this last summer. What the hell, man? Oh my god. <laughs> this is a classic jam for that. I mean, you just imagine. It's pretty easy to imagine. It's not ridiculous. <laughs> Seems pretty ridiculous to me, but what I guess. What the hell does your family do? <laughs> I just remember at my sister's wedding, my dad juggling the family coconuts, and then whichever one falls first, everyone eats a little bite of. <laughs> he was doing it to the song. <laughs> Oh, God. There's a lot going on at the wedding, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of different, a lot of, a lot of different Ed Sheeran songs are playing as well. It's kind of Oh, I'm weird. telling you, yeah. he dominates the wedding playlist. Yeah, and this is at a different part of the wedding. Oh, yeah. This is the reception. Oh, yeah, this is when they burn the bride's dress and she puts on the groom's tuxedo. What are you talking about? What happens at the end? That, they, they, I don't know, man. Maybe I leave weddings early or something. I don't, that happens at the end. You don't know oh, that? Oh, my God, dude. The weddings I go to are so boring. Both parents walk a tiki torch down the aisle and ignite the bottom of the bride's dress and she's kind of hoisted out of the dress and put into the groom's tuxedo. <laughs> he then naked rolls around in butter and honey and coats himself in feathers and almonds and climbs up a tree and does the old mating call that the pagans taught us. Coo -coo -coo -coo. <laughs> Be my wife, be my wife. And then they go off in like an old car with cans on it or whatever. Okay, now I remember that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember the cans part. Your problem is the open bar. You cannot hold your liquor, That's man. True, you I get guess. absolutely <laughs> crazy yeah, I don't at weddings. I really remember most weddings I've been to. Yeah.